Hello everyone. For the Newbery Award for this week's session, I chose to read A Year Down Yonder, which was written by Richard Peck. And this story discusses a 15-year-old girl named Mary Alice who was uprooted from her family in Chicago in the recession of 1937 to go and live with her grandmother because her parents couldn't afford to find a house that could hold her and her parents both. So she moves to a small rural town in Illinois with her grandmother and she comes to realize when she arrives in this town that her grandmother isn't the most liked person in this town because people are kind of afraid of her and she has a rough and gruff exterior but as Mary Alice comes to find out through the story she really does instill a lot of good life lessons for Mary Alice. Mary Alice struggles quite a bit throughout the story and trying to find herself and understand what she needs to do to fit in in this small town and Mary Alice makes friends but she also makes enemies. She encounters the town bully and has a falling out with her and also has to deal with the mean and popular girls who judge her and talk badly about her. But she overcomes this and she um, has a friend whose name is Ina Ray and she is the smallest girl in the class and isn't exactly the most liked person but she's a good friend to Mary Alice and Mary Alice comes to meet a boy named Royce McNabb who she has a hard time accepting that they like each other and the popular girl has a hard time accepting that Royce seems to have an interest in Mary Alice and there is quite the controversy that happens between Carlene, the popular girl, and Mary Alice through and throughout the story. Grandma Dowdle creates a sense of adventure in Mary Alice and shows her how to hunt and trap and provides for her by trapping and skinning foxes and selling the furs for money, which was very resourceful for this time because many people in this town didn't have very much money and they didn't have the things that they needed to meet their ultimate needs, but Grandma Daldo made sure that Mary Alice had what she needed and had what she wanted. Um, the story progresses and in the end, Mary Alice and Royce end up going back to this small rural town in Illinois to get married and they end up living happily ever after. Now the story is something that I felt that was very important for children to read because not only does it give us a look at historical fiction and the things that happened in our past that are very real and the recession and um, the hard times that people had to endure but it also shows that hard work and determination are things that children have to learn and that they are things that are very needed. For an activity for the story, I would have my students write about a time that they struggled with something and how they overcame their struggles and I would have them illustrate a picture to go along with that. Thank you.